The keynote address at this injury prevention symposium was given by Michael Bergeron, and I, I seldom do this, but you have the most amazing title, and if I had to remember it, uh, I'd fail. Senior Vice President of Development and Applications, Center for Advanced Analytics in Sport and Health of Game Changer Analytics, and President and Chief Executive Officer of Youth Sports of the Americas. You are a busy man. I am a busy man. I have a real passion for not only better understanding youth athletes and, and what puts them at, at health, but also what puts them at risk. And I think that today it's really an exciting time to be in that because we have so much capacity for new ways to look at things, new technologies. So the merging of promoting health, preventing injury, and technology and advanced analytics is just really an exciting time. What were the points of your keynote address, the most uh, emphasized points? Well, as far as youth athlete development, uh, we really have to make it much more youth-centered and media, not media-centered and not adult-centered. And we really have to look at the individual because there's so much variability in how a young athlete responds to training for a lot of different reasons, not the least of which is everyone is different and everyone has a different response to a stress, also at different maturation levels. So we really have to consider the individual and we have to consider that it takes a long time to develop a, a healthy, sustainable, highly resilient athlete. And any time you try to rush that, it puts that young athlete in jeopardy. The other side of it with the analytics and the, and the capacity for looking at uh, the factors that really promote health and prevent injury, uh, we have such a great opportunity to look at it from more of a systems biology versus trying to just look at one part of the mechanism. We have to look at real world scenarios and real world information and all of the factors that influence promoting health and, and preventing injury or putting a young athlete at risk. So you talk about young athletes. I remember when I played little league sports, which is uh, way too many years ago, we had simple, uh, almost leather helmets and somebody had a concussion every practice and the coach would say, how many fingers am I holding up? And they'd send us back in. This concussions must be a big area of emphasis. Well, the concussion certainly has gotten a lot of attention and it's really brought to the forefront uh, many of the risks of contact sports and, and head injuries. No question we need to really be paying attention for that. You have one brain and it's very vulnerable, particularly when a, you're a young athlete, uh, to some potential long-term complications. Uh, the, the other side of it, though, is that, you know, back when you and I were playing sports uh, as kids, uh, we did a lot of things and we kind of knew when to rest and, and when to recover and, and how hard to go and, and all of that. And, and so we kind of self-regulated. I think today, in today's world, because of adults, uh, they've engineered the uh, fun and the variability, the inherent variability that we often had. But again, the, the issue of brain health is, is very, very important. How does this tie in with the Stedman Philippon Research Institute and the Stedman Clinic that you're being here? Well, uh, the Stedman Philippon Institute is, is really uh, on the forefront. I mean, they're looking at prevention of injury. They have a huge database of, of information that hopefully we can partner with and, and help with the analytics of it. Uh, but they're really looking at it from a uh, right at the forefront of science and medicine as to what really are the risk factors and what can we really do to understand prevention and promote health. It's not an easy task, uh, but we need to look at it comprehensively and we need to look at it creatively and innovatively. Michael Bergeron, thank you very much. The world of youth sports and all sports is changing because of injury prevention thinking.